Hello, and welcome to Mr. Arthur's Puppets Part 12. Wow, 12. That is so cool. Whoa. I see someone over there. It's Katie. Katie. Katie, come in. Okay, come and say hello. Katie, how are you? Well, well, Charlie, I'm, I'm not really feeling that happy at the moment. Whoa, Katie, are you okay? Are you alright? Well, you know, I'm not feeling very good. Yeah, why? What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Whoa. Well, do you remember when we were at school the other day and Mr. Arthur told us how we can, um, think of some people who we can talk to when we're feeling sad or unsafe? Yeah. Well, I've got that hand. The one we made, remember? We had to think of five people. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go and get your hand. It's down there. Remember we did it? Yeah. Okay, Charlie. If you can hold it, take it up and show the, show the people. Okay. Okay, the first one I have there up the top, it says my mother. I can see my mother if I need to. I can also trust my father if I can talk to him. Mr. Arthur, very good friend of mine. I can talk to him if I'm ever sad. Mrs. Nesbitt, she's the lady next door. I can talk to her. And the last one I've got on there is my grandpa. He's someone I can talk to when I'm sad. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Yuck. That paper tasted terrible. Uh, well, thank you for picking it up for me when your mouth like that. It was very kind. That's all right. We, us puppets do that for each other sometimes, yeah. Now, you can go and see any of those people that you feel comfortable talking to when you're sad or you feel unsafe. Of course, you can talk to me if you like, but I understand that some things you might not feel comfortable. It's okay, Charlie. You are a very good friend. Okay, but I think I'm going to go and choose one of those people. Okay, I'll let you decide. All right, um. Oh, you right there, Charlie? <laughs> okay, um, I'm having a very bad head day today. Um, ooh. Now, I can either choose my mother, but she's at work at the moment. Um, the other one I had, let's see. My father, mm -hmm. yep, and he's busy, he's doing, he's mowing the lawns at the moment. Um, then the next one I had was Mr. Arthur. He's a bit busy at the moment, so I can't really pick him. Sorry. Oh, I still feel terrible. Oh, was that your hand, Mr. Arthur? No, it was. Hmm? I didn't see it. No one else did, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Um... Next, I had Mrs. Nesbitt next door. Oh. Now, um, she went out. I saw her drive. I don't think I can see her either. Uh, the last person I have, see, that means I've only got one person left. It's my grandpa. I'm going to go and see him now. Hopefully he can help me out. Okay, I will be back. Okay, I think I found him. Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> Hello, Katie. Hello. Grandpa, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too, my dear. I have not seen you for a whole three days now. Are you okay? Well, I've been a little bit, bit sad. Oh, that's no good. What's wrong? Well, there's this girl at school. Right. 
and she's been calling me names. <gasps> oh, that's no good. And what did you say to her? Oh, I didn't do anything. I just let her do it, and I felt really bad because I started to believe what this girl was saying. She was she was calling me spaghetti hair. And then when I looked in the mirror, I went, oh, it does look a little bit like spaghetti. <gasps> oh, Katie, 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 don't listen to that girl. You have beautiful hair. It is actually beautiful. Look, I don't really have much hair, so having any hair at all is a great thing. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. Now, listen, I'm glad you came to see me. What made you come and see me? Well, I was talking to Charlie Horse, and what we did at school is we had made a hand. What we did is we traced around our hand, and on each finger we wrote down the name of a person that we thought we could trust to go and talk to. So it could be your mom, your dad, your teacher, your next-door neighbor, maybe your grandma or your grandpa, or an auntie or an uncle or a brother or a sister or someone you know who can help you out. Ooh, and, and you put me on that list? I'm so happy. Well, I'm glad I made you happy. Well, I'm glad I could help you. Oh, Katie, you're a special girl to me, you know, and I'll help you out any way I can. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. I love you. Oh, thanks, Katie. Okay. Well, I'm glad we could help you. Now, next time the girl calls you names, you go and talk to either the girl and tell her to stop, or the teacher, and you ask that teacher to help you. Oh, well, that's probably a good idea, too. And if it's still a problem... Come and see me, and we'll talk about it some more, and maybe we'll go and see the teacher together. That sounds so much better. Gee, I'm glad I did that, and I'm glad that my teacher showed me how to get five helpful people in my life. <gasps> Man, I feel so much better. I feel empowered. This is great. Woo! Yeah! All right, Katie. All right. I'm glad you're okay. And, uh... Anybody out there, it might be a good idea that you all get yourselves a hand with five fingers. And five fingers that give you five people that you can turn to if ever you're sad or need help. Okay, it's time to go. Nice to meet you, by the way. Yeah, great grandpa I've got, huh? He's great. Not much hair, but that doesn't matter. I've got enough hair for both of us, don't I, Grandpa? <laughs> That's what I've always said, Kate. <laughs> uh, had lots of hair when I was younger. Back in my day, when I was when I was a young a young man, I had lots of hair. Not quite as much as you, though. Okay. Well, I bet you can't eat yours. Oh no, can't eat mine. Okay, better go now. Okay. See you, everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. Mr. Office Puppets.